Hey, look at that. Get quiet, he doesn't see us. This is King Kong, the 1933 original, which has quite a lot of dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals in it, in addition to Kong itself. For me, I think the most interesting one is the Stegosaurus, a relatively new animal at this time, relatively new discovery, and in the grand scheme of things, it's really quite a good model. It's very big, Stegosaurus did not get that kind of size, but overall it's quite good. We now know they had a rather longer neck, it would have been a bit less bulky overall, and the really famous thing here, which was scientifically accurate to the time, is that it's got four rows of tail spikes where we now know that that's two rows. But this is what was going around in the scientific literature at the time, and so actually this model is clearly based on a bunch of illustrations that were done in scientific papers of the time. <laughs> And this is the famous Tyrannosaurus from King Kong. It's pretty good, it's got three fingers on the hands, and Tyrannosaurus famously only has two, uh, but the arms are very, very small. The animal is really nice and big and bulky and robust, which Tyrannosaurus is, compared to pretty much all of the other carnivorous dinosaurs, and certainly the ones that were known at the time. It's got a very upright posture. We often call this a kangaroo posture. The head's really up, the tail's down and dragging along the ground but actually it's quite agile, it's moving around, it's quite quick, it's jumping about, it's not some very slow, stayed, can barely move, it needs the sun kind of interpretation of reptiles, which again was very common um, for dinosaurs at this time. Perhaps because that doesn't make for a very good monster if it can't run and can't chase things. But mostly this is a pretty good model for something that's nearly 100 years old and made at a time when Tyrannosaurus had only been known for a couple of decades.